Hello everyone, Claudia here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I recently made a video about something I think everybody is now fully familiar with and that is Wordle. If you didn't watch that video, I will link it on the screen and in the description box. But since I made that video, Wordle was bought by the New York Times and has completely taken over social media. So it's only natural that spin-offs of Wordle would start popping up and they definitely have. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Some of you even introduced me to a few in my Wordle video comment section, so I really appreciate that. There are options now if you're a math person, if you're a geography person, and even if you're a basketball person. So if you like this video while you're watching it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And let's get into some suggestions of other games to try if you love Wordle. I wanna mention quickly before we start that Wordle Original is now being offered in different languages. I don't know how many other languages they have at the moment, but I know Spanish, German, Italian, French, and Chinese are options. But if you know other languages that have a Wordle game, please leave a comment and let everybody know. So the first Wordle spinoff I wanna talk about is for my people out there who just can't get enough of Wordle. You can now play Wordle Unlimited. So all of these spinoffs, by the way, are not made by the same person who created Wordle, but they have the same concept. So Wordle Unlimited is just what you would imagine. It's unlimited words. So with Wordle, you only get one word per day, but with unlimited, you can keep playing until your heart is content. So it's the same concept and strategy as the original, but you don't have to stop at one word per day. On Wordle Unlimited, you can actually also create a word and share it with your friends. And you can even change the amount of letters if you wanna try playing with more letters or less letters. And you can change the word weirdness to less weird or more weird or even get a hint. The next one is for my geography lovers out there and this one is called Wordle. So this one's kind of hard to Google because it is gonna assume that you're just spelling Wordle wrong. So I have links to all of these games in the description box. So I would definitely recommend using the link for this one. Wordle looks like this. So you get the shape of a country and you have to guess which country it is. Once you submit a guess, it will tell you how close you are to guessing the actual country geographically. So this one actually has nothing to do with the letters and how many letters are correct in the word. It's just how close the country you guessed is to the country presented. So for example, I guessed Iceland and it shows me that the actual country is 6,479 kilometers south of Iceland. So that's what the little arrow is depicting. And the percentage shows how close you are to the actual country. So the closer to 100%, the closer you are, again, geographically to the correct answer. If it was, let's say 10%, your guess is probably on the other side of the globe from the actual answer. So as you can see, my next guess was France, which is closer, but still too far north. So my next guess is Nigeria, and now we're at 92%. So I'm very close, and now I know I need to go farther west. So my next guess was Ghana, 97%, and then of course the correct answer was the Ivory Coast. The next one is for my math wizards out there. We have Nerdle, and with Nerdle you have six chances to build a successful equation. So on my first try, I tried 25 plus 17 equals 42. And as you can see, anything black means it's not gonna be in the equation. Anything purple is in the equation, but in the wrong spot. So five and four are in this equation, but not in the right spot. And the green ones are in the equation and in the correct spot. So for my next guess, I'm trying 49 plus six equals 55. And again, four and five are still not in the right spot but I've also now eliminated nine, zero, and six. And since there's one purple five and one black five, it means that there's only one five in this equation. So my next guess, I wanted to try using the three and the eight to see if those were in it. So I tried 54 plus 34 equals 88, and that of course was the correct answer. And with Nerdle, you also get a couple of other options. If you click this little cube here at the top, you have Nerdle Mini, which is the same rules as original, but with a shorter equation. Nerdle Instant, where it gives you what's actually in the equation, but you only have one try to get it right. And it, of course, is timing you as well. 
And then you also have Pro Nerdle where you can create your own game to share with others. I have one more suggestion before the end of the video, even though I know there are a lot more out there, I wanted to just touch on a few in this video. My last suggestion is for any basketball fans. This one is called Podal. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but this one allows you to guess mystery basketball players. And as you can see here, you'll get green or yellow hints as you guessed correctly, or at least close to the mystery player. This one is only current NBA players. So for this one, I do believe you need to have pretty extensive basketball knowledge. But if you have that, I'm sure this is one that you would really enjoy. That's it for today. Leave a comment down below if there are any other Wordle spinoffs you think are fun and worth playing. Again, I know there are tons of options, especially if you're a super fan of anything. There's a Taylor Swift one, there's a Harry Potter one, a Star Wars one, even a Lord of the Rings one. So if you're really into something, just give it a Google and see if a Wordle spinoff has popped up for it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.